Hello, and welcome to an adventure like no other. Far more than what you have known, there is something far more to be known than you can ever know. And it is all about you, the real you, your real awareness with your intuitive senses. You were never taught that the real you, your real awareness, is operating five bodies in cause and effect restricting creation. You have been taught to think that you are only a one-dimensional human person, with a mind and emotions, and with a very short lifespan on this planet Earth. More than what your mind can grasp is your intuitive senses that can be opened to see beyond all your restrictions. You have always had an opening to see beyond what you have known, and this has been purposely kept from you, and this is where you have heard rumors and stories about your nightly dreams. Your so-called dreams is your opening to your intuitive senses that will allow you, the personal you, to excel beyond what you have previously known. Everyone has intuitive senses, and very few people take advantage of what is possible by recognizing something more than their mind can understand. Creation has its place for all of us, and then there is all life, which is far more than anything than what can become with creation. Everything we experience is necessary for us to survive with whatever we choose and decide our life to be. New Kevin Smith is the great witness to something more than what can be taught and learned in any school. It can be so that when anyone first listens to Kevin's intuitive side experiences, also known as real side experiences, from what their personal mind has known, Kevin's manner of expression will at first be rather different to comprehend. This is where this introduction and reading the new books and Facebook groups will help. Have fun deciding, Dwayne the Great Writer and Seer. In this real side experience, I would find myself as part of a large group of individuals that impressions revealed were those on their respective processes of awareness, and if taken to a conclusion, is recognition. We would be positioned in an undisclosed location somewhere in multi-dimensional creation, a planetary body or other, and specifically stationed in what appeared to be an expansive, very lavish mansion. Just like the real universal universities, which a primary purpose is for the constant sharing and presenting of real references and real education, but which also serves as a base of operations for the launching of life and awareness beneficial assignments and projects. So this position, the mansion, served a similar function, a base from where objectives would be launched. For indeed, impressions revealed that the mansion itself, its appearance, was directly reflected from the awareness of those within it, and also the assignments launched from it and the success in regards to them, in that, as these projects were completed, and they indeed exacted benefit, awareness speaking, the mansion would be more so lavish and resplendent in accordance. And as things currently stood, the mansion was at its most awe-inspiring, indicating the assignments we had been embarking on in relation to it, utilising the building as our home base, so to speak, had been beneficially impacting and successful. For indeed, each of those stationed within it, including myself, had in our possession golden medals which had been given to us as a result of that which we had been involved in and successfully executed assignment-wise. The representation rather apparent, for just as it is on the earth, where individuals assume the top mantle in their chosen sport or preoccupation, and gold medals are awarded to signify their achievement, so it was here. Gold not only indicative of the highest achievable accolade, 
but also the colour associated with the true reality and used for its representation. Although, just like the sun shining, the colour gold can only reference the ears and not be its reality, for the all ears is an absoluteness that cannot be defined with any applied idea as a generated in a creation. Among those present and myself would be a group of beings who had a far greater awareness, impressions suggesting they were real guides. As the guides have a tendency to operate in the real side universities and positions of this nature, very often in the capacities of teachers, or a better term would be awareness facilitators, but additionally will the guides formulate the various assignments and afford opportunity for involvement where the earning of one's way can be so that we become more aware, life affords us greater awareness as we support it through the awareness of beneficial assignments we participate in, everything equaling itself as it does, we become more aware as we support the awareness of others as the reflective principle. The larger group I was present with would all be human in appearance, the guides also assuming outward human forms, though I had no indication or impression as to the identity of any of them. At one point, a human female would enter the mansion, impressions revealing she had been in affiliation with the group, had also been utilising the mansion as a base of operations and assignments, but had somewhat disassociated herself from us in recent moments. Appearance-wise, she would be a middle-aged woman, with no other distinguishable features, and just as it was with the others of the mansion-based group, she would be unfamiliar to my personal self. She declared that we owed her, that she was here to collect what was a due through the services she had provided while she had been in association with us and involved in our assignments. What she was expecting was extensive, but rather than deny her, so the guides allowed her to take what she would, and she would proceed to relieve the mansion of various of its interior fittings and furniture. As I said, the mansion reflected the success of our life and awareness beneficial activities, but everything presented simulation-wise that represented awareness gleaned consequently were but ideas that symbolised this. For awareness and the all is, is a reality beyond idea encapsulation, and it can be so that the unaware or those of an ill-intented persuasion can chase the ideas, the references, but unless they are sincere with their intent placed with the all ears, they can never grasp the true reality that the ideas are referencing. Symbolically, this would be the case here, the mansion and its current resplendence only referencing the awareness the group and I had attained, and this a female human was adamant in her claiming of the ideas, the references, as though to do so, she would in some way embody the awareness, the mansion and its contents represented. The guides content then to allow her to take the ideas, for in and of themselves they had very little value, they were purely representational, and realistically the only value any idea has is as a comparative tool to recognise the years by creational encapsulated idea parts and pieces in relation to the isness everything whole. Despite all that she removed from the mansion, 
the ideas that represented awareness, as the overall mansion was a reflection of awareness gleaned, as I said, she would not be satisfied. As though regardless of how many isness awareness references she laid her hands on, she was no closer to that which they referenced, as she couldn't get beyond her personal self, and so was resigned to remain in her consciousness of created illusions, despite how many is pertaining idea references she accumulated. As I said, she was an individual once in association with the group, she had therefore been on her own process of awareness, but had stepped back seemingly, but trying to grasp and hold on to that which she once had had. In reality, she already is the real awareness being of light with the all is, as we all are, but our positioning with the true reality of ourselves is according to what we decide and our intent, and through her own choice was she absorbed into the personal self and filtered off from her real awareness through the attitudes and ideas of the personal self she now clung to. At this moment, despite the appearance of the female being that which was unfamiliar to my personal self, impressions would suggest her very likely to be a Kelsey. And just as it is on the physical level, where she has been impacting the new friends, drawing a number of them away from the new presentation and causing a confusion and derision, this would be apparent here also in this real side experience. As the deciders, no one can force us to redact intent with the all ears, or to compromise or lessen our position with life, all they can do is present distorted and deceptive ideas in the hopes we may be swayed by them, and characters such as Kelsey are continuous in their efforts to instill a doubt in the new friends through persistently rubbishing the new presentation and all that it represents and references. For the group stationed within the mansion would also be affected by the woman's manipulations, as though she were infecting their reason with a doubt. As I said, the mansion was as though a symbolic reflection of awareness, and as the confusion spread, so the mansion would deteriorate to an extent in reflected accordance. Present on the mansion's grounds would be a number of body forms that were not human, many of which had more animal-like appearances, though animals of a very exotic and beyond earth nature and design. These were not, however, animal forms directly animated by real awareness prior to the creation of the free will wielding secondary personal self but body types where the secondary self was established. Although these various animal forms were not utterly absorbed into their personal self-creation, they were embarking on their own awareness processes, just as the group and myself were, and the mansion was a position they also were operating from. For as intent aligns, so must experience. As we formulate ideas in a conjunction with others, so the effects of what are the same or similar ideas held to must converge. And as we set intent with the years, as experience, physical level and real side will be in accordance with that which facilitates the eventual recognition of the true reality, so we can expect that our experiential path will converge with others, also on their respective processes of awareness. We will be frequenting and operating within the universities, etc., 
and positions such as this mansion, and in the presence of others who also have set intent with the ears, such as this array of exotic animal body types. But through the confusion the woman was causing, as the mansion reflected this in its deterioration, as ideas and considerations were being held to in relation to this situation, as opposed to just a being and in the nowness of the real awareness, for in reality it doesn't matter as to the nature of the ideas we cling to, as any idea embraced will serve as restriction, most of the animal body forms would disperse and vacate the mansion, as though also becoming confused and personal self-absorbed through the ideas generated, the thoughts and emotions in response to the impact the woman was causing. One of the animal body forms would remain, however, the closest approximation appearance-wise was that of a kind of a camel, a very aware being, however, as it wasn't swayed by what was taking place, retaining its indifferent real awareness, objective standing in the face of the ideas in a circulation, hence it remaining on the mansion grounds regardless. The group and myself also were retaining our position in the mansion, despite not entirely being centred with the true essence of our real awareness, nowness selves, as I said, it was as though the woman were bombarding the group with ideas designed to instil a doubt in regards to the new presentation and the entire awareness, isness, recognising a process, etc. The guides, however, would afford assurances, and the group began to re-establish a sense with the situation. As a consequence, the mansion would as though be restored somewhere close to its former glory in reflection of not only the awareness of the group, but of the intent that this awareness position with life be maintained and indeed continue to be progressed. And indeed, was it necessary to embark on a series of assignments seemingly, as though required that the mansion be fully restored, as though a means of a reaffirming intent with the years, as a Duane always says, it's in the doing. For if we are distracted by that which serves a little a benefit, sometimes the best course of action is not only to cease any association with the distraction, but to do that which is far removed from it and is more beneficial, in this case a number of assignments. The group and myself would be relocated to a different position, standing in what appeared to be a desert region, the impressions of being in an altogether different dimension than that where the mansion was placed. We were to be engaging with the two creationally powerful beings, and although the names of which were afforded in the experience, I failed to recollect them on awaking. As a powerful as a beings decide to develop themselves to be, for we can create the body forms as we desire in regards to their capability, a case of deciding what we will, formulating the ideas which become a consciousness installed and effected will be the corresponding body types. That powerful beings can impose themselves on others is according to agreement. If the agreement is absent, the simulation can't follow. For an individual to be the recipient of abuse from another, they must have installed in their consciousness the idea that this can be so in relation to the other being. And if this idea is lacking, then despite the intended abuser's best efforts, they will be unsuccessful. That beings are considered creationally powerful indicates that they have agreement 
that allows them to exact and exercise this power over vast masses within the simulator, the prime examples being the life-level reptilian gods. These two powerful beings that we were to confront may not be at a similar level of agreement afforded simulator prominence as the reptilian self-proclaimed gods, but still possessed of quite the standing and were of an ill-intended proclivity. Generally, when we confront such beings, we rather extend them an ultimatum, that they either desist from their usual abrasive activity, step up with us and operate in beneficial capacities, or they will suffer the karmic consequences. In reality, we can't enforce karmic justice. Each being actually does this to themselves, for every action carries a reflective cause and effect principle, which dictates our experiencing of ourselves effectively. Our reflected effects will be in equal measure to the causes we generate, and for the most abusive and abrasive, their effects will be among the most dire. Potentially, they even may find themselves displaced, isolated from creation and unable to create and have any further bearing on it, positions such as the phantom zone etc. All karma, all effects will come due at some point, but everything is in effect now, immediate from the causes in isness reality terms, and only through the delayed process of cause to effect through creational mechanics are the experiences we are generating for ourselves not instantaneous from our life choices and deeds. As an alternative to allowing the karma to play out as it will, as abrasive or powerful beings already are the effect of themselves, we can step in and present alternatives to the effects they would have experienced, alternatives that put them out of the way now, such as the Phantom Zone, and all the damage and mayhem they would have caused creationally no longer will take a place. This then is the ultimatum we can deliver. We are not interfering with any being's free will to create and operate as they will, but we can manage the effects they would have experienced for themselves that have them displaced. But should the being agree to cease operating in restricting and destructive ways, and ideally also assist us in regards to assignments that benefit life, such a fate that of displacement may not be necessary. That although I wouldn't witness what took place, the confrontation, as the scene rather skipped that part, and we now were returned to the mansion, the impressions were that, alas, the two powerful beings had rejected the option we had presented, that of stepping up, assisting us, becoming more aware, as opposed to continuing to operate destructively, and as a consequence, they had indeed been displaced, and no longer were in positions where they could have any bearing on any other being in the simulator. The mansion was now restored completely, in reflection of awareness, and the releasing of all limiting ideas, all doubts, concerns and trepidations that the woman had managed to have us entertain, and additionally we all would be awarded with another gold medal as a consequence.